Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns, please. All right, so we've got the Two of Swords, your person's energy, Six of Wands in reverse, okay? They're viewing you as the moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy. What you don't see is the Ace of Cups, so some sort of new beginning, some sort of blessing. And we have the tower in reverse, Aries and Scorpio energy. Okay, and we see the page of pentacles. Okay, Capricorn, I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who's not taking action. Um, they might be ignoring you even, or maybe, yeah, it just feels like they've got a lot going on. It could be that they have a choice between you and someone else, or they have other options. They feel like they know you very well. And there is some sort of new beginning. I'm just not so sure it's with this person, to be honest. The Page of Pentacles in reverse can be a little bit of analysis paralysis. All right. And let's see. The Two of Swords. Someone, uh, you could be mirroring each other. You're both holding back. There's something that you're not seeing or they're not. Yeah, somebody's holding back. Capricorn, I feel like it could be you. I feel like you're, you know, you're, you're working on you. You know, this is the Empress energy in the strength card. She's taming her inner beasts, demons. She's holding back. She's powerful. She's strong. She's focused on herself. She's focused on healing. We see that figure eight above her head, which is like, it's an evolution. It's, it's, um, it's a transformation she's experiencing. Yeah, Emperor Energy in Reverse, Aries. So a lot of you, you are dealing with someone here that I think has other options. And they may be exploring those options. I don't feel like they're taking action or they're reaching out. You probably feel ignored by this person. Three of Swords. Yeah, see this person, hmm, this person is definitely holding back. For a lot of you... It's because they have some sort of trauma in their past or unhealed wounds and the chariot card. Yeah, it could be because of distance um, if you're at a distance from this person. But I also feel like this person is not moving forward right now. They either, they, it just feels like they have other options, to be honest, Capricorn. And, you know, I hate to be like the bearer of bad news, but it just feels like this person is has unhealed wounds. They're not moving forward. They're kind of stubborn or set in their ways. For some of you, they're a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette. With the moon card here in reverse and the queen of swords. See, this person is seeing you. They know that you're angry or pissed off. Some of you, you have this person blocked or you might have even told them off. Okay, I think they see very clearly how you're feeling and how their actions have affected you. And Taurus energy Hmm. This person sees you as very dependable and down to earth. They see potential commitment with you, but this person is not moving forward. They're not moving forward. Ace of Cups. What is this new beginning here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Two of Cups energy, and the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you, you're in separation from this person. I feel, to be honest, Capricorn... Now, some of you, you're dealing with a Cancer Leo or a Cancer Leo cusp here, a Taurus, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Sag. I kind of feel that what Spirit's saying is you might have somebody new on your path, okay? Because temperance energy is like about wish fulfillment. It's about healing. It's about finding balance. Some of you, you've been healing from this situation, something that had a lot of potential, but it looks like this person moved off in a different direction, and I think when my Capricorns, you heal and you're ready to get back out there, you have somebody new coming your way. Because the tower energy in reverse is like avoiding disaster. And it's a strong message here, Capricorn. And I know some of you are going to be disappointed, but this person doesn't feel like they're meant for you, or at least not right now. 
Now remember temperance energy is divine timing. So maybe it could be, you know, after a period of healing that this person comes in with a new offer, but I want you to be very careful with that because it feels like, I don't know, it feels like they have unhealed wounds. It feels like they like getting attention from others and they're not quite ready for commitment. They might have felt Capricorn that you were ready for commitment and that might have really scared them off or, you know, even made them push you away. But I feel this powerful energy that there's something coming towards you, possibly a different energy. And I'm going to pull some cards on that um, and the tower. And, and this is even though this feels disappointing, I know it is disappointing for some of you. The tower in reverse is um, it's like it's like you're avoiding disaster. This is divine intervention. Yeah, that Ten of Pentacles wanted to come out again, and we see the Queen of Pentacles. You know what, Capricorn? Just focus on you. Focus on your money, on your health, looking good, feeling good. This person is stuck in a karmic cycle, and I don't think they're ready for commitment, but I think you've got somebody new headed your way. So I want to pull cards on this really quick because this, like I said, I want to see if we can get some ideas about who is this new love. It's like a gift from the divine that's going to kind of... Kind of, I feel like it's going to take your attention off of this person. Okay, it could be somebody who's a little bit older. All right, um, somebody who's got some money. Um, or they just have a lot to offer. They've worked hard. Yeah, I feel this past person, this narcissist energy. They may come back around at some point in time, Capricorn. But I'm feeling like I have no problems putting this on their on their energy because it feels like they are very self-centered. Feels like they're even a bit, you know, they're just overly focused on themselves. And you may have a, like a wealthy Virgo or somebody a little bit older coming towards you. Um, I feel the message is really strong here, Capricorn. This this top energy, this past person. They've been holding back. I think you've been trying to be strong, but I just feel like you're dealing with somebody who's just not ready and they're very, very focused on themselves. Um, you know, this new Virgo energy could be somebody who's, you know, they're just much more balanced is what I'm getting. I, I feel very strongly this past person has unhealed wounds. All right. And, and I feel spirits intervening here, to be honest with the tower, to help you avoid disaster. Okay. Because I feel my Capricorns, you just, you deserve reciprocity. You deserve stability. Um, this past person misses hearing your voice. They can feel you leaving them behind and they may want you back, but I would be careful because it's like, as you move away, this is like this person wanting to come towards you. And I think they do miss being with you. They may stay up late and thinking about it, but truthfully, I'm not seeing them taking much action. And that's, you know, and that's where the problem lies, right? Like you can't be a mind reader. And again, I, I don't think this is the person for you. I do think you have a new love coming in. Someone with Virgo energy who's quite stable, wealthy. All right. Yeah, this past person's insecure. Okay. They're non-committal. There you go. And they're emotionally guarded. Hmm. And they're not who you think. They might give off like a really suave, really smooth energy. Um, you know, they might say the right things, but I would just be very careful here. Okay, Capricorn with that past person. I like this Virgo energy. Okay, they could be a bit older, a bit younger. Not for all of you are they going to be 10 plus years older or younger. Um, but let's see. So we get make the effort. Yeah. So I, I feel this past person, this energy that I'm picking up on. They're not making the effort. I do feel this wealthy Virgo energy is going is going to, yeah. And it it may be this past person needs to stay in the past. Yep, because you've got a new love coming in. The messages don't get much more clear than that. You've got this new this new wealthy Virgo energy or somebody with a lot to offer. And again, Virgo energy is like my you know Virgos are. You know, they're practical, they're down to earth, they're hardworking. Um, they're also quite sensitive. So again, they might not have Virgo in their chart, but they're just embodying this. And spirit saying, keep an open mind. Don't focus on that person who's not really given it to you, right? That person who's not making the effort. Um, and this, this, this energy, this new love very well may be someone, um, you know, who's maybe different than your usual type and expectations. All right, so let's see clear messages and guidance for, I was going to say for my Virgos, um, 
for my Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. So we've got true love. Yep, true love. Sorry, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Yeah, and I, I feel it's this new love energy um, that may lead to a higher level of commitment. Um, someone in the past is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Oh, sorry, someone in this connection. But I think it's this past person because they're coming out as the Nine of Swords in reverse. They may start to obsess over you, Capricorn, in the future. But I, I kind of feel for a lot of you, you may have moved on. Your true love is already a part of your life, so stay present. Look at, is this person being honest with me? Are they making an effort? You know, um, you know, are they reaching out? It feels like they're not, and I feel like that there's a lot, a lot to say about that. This new energy is going to make the effort, and they might already be around you um, for some of you. For others of you, I'm getting they might be coming in. Um, it may be between now and Pisces season, so in the next, like, you know, about another four or five weeks, all right? So I'm going to leave it here, Capricorns. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.